Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today's video is going to be an updated review of my Cartier Ecru bracelet. Now, originally I had posted an unboxing of this piece and also did sort of a mini review, but since then I have gotten a lot of requests to do an updated review of this particular item. I mean, this has been by far my most requested video in my entire youtube career career no not really a career but in my entire youtube tenure yes and uh, thank you everyone for making that request you guys know how much i love to interact with you guys so again thank you to everyone who made that request and in this video i'm going to be focusing mainly on the wear and tear of uh, these uh, this particular piece and uh, things sort of how it's held up after owning it and wearing it for about a year uh, also if it is comfortable do i wear it 24 7 uh, about scratches and also if it stacks well with the other pieces and finally do i still love it so let's get into the video all right so before i jump into the wear and tear of this bracelet i figured it would be a good idea to give a little bit of an overview of uh, this bracelet so the name of the bracelet ecru in french means balls so very fitting to this bracelet and uh, this bracelet it has a total of uh, six balls of which two are static and these are four on the top they do have a movement now the balls are only on one side of the bracelet and the other side is a plain uh, but the surface of this bracelet it is a sort of uh, sort of a pipe kind of a thing uh, it is designed in such a way that the balls can move you know the screw nail uh, so it has the similar a similar kind of a design but even though it has that sort of a design it is not uh, uncomfortable in the wrist you know you don't feel any kind of roughness or it doesn't hurt or anything of that sort now coming back to the balls these four balls they do have movement and throughout the day they tend to move and usually what uh, ends up being happening is that these balls they tend to stack on one side <laughs> and sometimes they are kind of very tightly stacked on one side so you will usually end up with uh, something like this so now if you are the kind of a person who likes their bracelet to be perfect or you know the balls to maintain the perfect uh, position at all times this is not going to happen at least with this bracelet uh, to me it does not bother me at all because i find that it gives a bit of character or adds a little bit of interest but you know to each their own some they like their things to be perfect at all times so yeah that is something to keep in mind now touching on the opening and closing mechanism of uh, this bracelet it is uh, very similar to the justin clue wherein you have to pull at one end and uh, the closure is a snap closure so uh and i always um find it difficult to figure out which end opens and which end it closes although the end that opens has a little bit of protruding uh, thing here which is really hard for me to see and also feeling wise you can't really feel that so usually what I end up doing is I try to open it from this end and if it doesn't open then I just move to the other end so this pull and open and the closure is a snap closure so that's the closing and opening mechanism of this bracelet which i actually like very much because it gives me the flexibility of uh, wearing this bracelet whenever i feel like and uh, you know taking it off whenever i feel like and also switching it up so if i want to wear it on my left arm versus if i want to wear it on my right arm so i love the flexibility that this offers 
Now let's uh, talk about the wear and tear of this bracelet. Now I have owned this bracelet a little over a year and uh, during that time frame I have pretty much wore it every single day. I also slept with it initial few days and then you know as the person I am I don't like to wear a lot of jewelry when I go to bed so I don't usually wear my ecru or my Justin Clue. Now, uh, I do have a bit of a repair story to share. So during that time frame of two months or so, I did not uh, wear this bracelet for about a month and then I sent it for repair. So it took another three to four weeks. So I have about two months wherein I was really not wearing this bracelet. Okay, so as far as the wear and tear goes, I do not see any kind of wear and tear on this particular piece. Also because if you see, it is not really, the surface of this bracelet is not really kind of smooth. So this area, even if there are scratches and whatnot, it is really hard to see. And also uh, this area, I mean the balls, there will be some scratches, but when I just look at them, it's, uh, it's really at some microscopic level. So it's really hard for me to see if there are scratches, but I would think there would be scratches, right? Because first, um, there is movement here and also second it's rubbing against your skin uh, so there will be some scratches but then again like i said uh it is not very smooth uh, so it is really really hard for me to see um even if the scratches are there so all in all i would say that it has held up very well after wearing it every single day for almost a year now coming to the comfort of this bracelet I personally find this bracelet very comfortable. Even though it does not have a smooth surface, I don't find it uncomfortable in any way. Um, in fact, I have worn it 24 seven. I have also slept with it. It is very, very comfortable. I also worked out with this bracelet and I find it comfortable. Now, I am not the type of a person who does a heavy duty workout, you know, like lifting weights and doing mega push-ups and stuff like that so i don't know how it's going to uh how you are going to feel it if you are going to lift weights and stuff like that um but you know if you are just walking running this is very comfortable now one thing that i do want to show you so when you have the bracelet on your wrist and if it is uh, you know pressed against your skin uh usually it this is what happens you know you will see these marks on your wrist and this is something that i also noticed with the love bracelet and also with the justin clue they sort of leave a dent on your skin this is very this is not permanent this is temporary and it is not painful but uh, you know you can see those dents on your wrist uh, throughout the day, it does not happen as much, but if you sleep with this, you will see this uh, more than uh, during, you know, throughout the day because you are not pressing on it. So that is something just to keep in mind. And also, if you have more of a sensitive skin, you might see those dents more. Uh, but again, like I said, they are not painful. They're not permanent <laughs> dents. So yeah, it just happens every now and then now let's talk about the sizing of this bracelet so this bracelet it follows the sizing of uh, the justin clue so if you own a justin clue uh, whatever size justin clue you own that is the exact same size that you should get for the acro bracelet at least that is what was told by my essay of uh, cartier and so that is what i did uh, so if you have a love bracelet then you will go one size down from the love bracelet so my love bracelet is size 16 and my justin clue is size 15 and the acro follows the size of the justin clue so this is the size 15 now even though it feels fine in my wrist and there is uh, enough room of movement 
because it has balls and these balls tend to move but these two balls because they are static in their place sometimes i find it to be a little bit tight at my bony area so this area i find that uh, you know i i can feel the bracelet in that area and also when i was purchasing purchasing this bracelet my original intention was to stack it in my left wrist and uh, I think or I find my left wrist to be a tad bit uh, thinner compared to my right wrist and uh, this is my dominant hand so I think my this wrist is a it's slightly bigger compared to my left wrist so also you know when you are purchasing it i would recommend that you try in both the wrist because you know when we are making the purchase we think something and then we end up doing something else so you should want to have that flexibility because right now what i find that uh, yes i love to stack it with my other bracelet but i also love to wear it by itself on my right wrist and i think it it looks really nice worn by itself you know it is it is statementy enough but at the same time it is not um, it is not in your face so i love the subtleness uh, but at the same time the statementy uh, the statement in nature of this bracelet so just something to keep in mind uh, you know when you are trying it i suggest that you try in both your wrist and uh, pick the one that fits more comfortably in both the wrists so if you are say somewhere in between sizes i would say size up that is it will be more comfortable and you will not feel it in the bony area of your wrist now let's talk about stacking so this is a question that i get quite often uh, as to does it stack well with other bracelets it does it look good with other bracelet and i think it looks amazing uh, but then again it is a very personal choice uh, and liking right some people like to wear uh, five love bracelets together and that is a look and i think it looks fantastic uh, but on the other hand there are people who wear different types of bracelets and they stack it that way and on the other hand there are some people who don't like to stack and they just want to wear it uh, uh, just solo and i think that looks amazing too so it's it's a very personal question in terms of uh, you know does it stack well with other bracelet because yes it stacks well but uh, something that looks good to me might not look as appealing to you anyways i did bring out my justin clue uh, just to show you how it stacks so at this point i do have my love uh, chain bracelet also in my left hand which i usually don't wear on my left wrist but like i said i love i love to play around with my stack and i kind of keep switching things around that's just uh, who i am so when i pair it just with the love bracelet i think it looks perfect um you guys let me know what do you think uh in my opinion it looks uh, perfect i don't think Oh, I think I wore it the other way. <laughs> so yes, this is how it uh, it would look. And I think it looks uh, awesome. And uh, I also did bring out my Justin Blue just to show you how all the Cartier pieces, uh, they stack with each other. And yeah, this is how it looks. Um, I think it looks great. I also sometimes switch it up with uh, adding my um, VCA bracelet. I also throw in my diamond tennis bracelet. I also have some other just plain um, gold bracelets, which I also like to add. And yeah, I just keep on changing it up, switching it up, different days, different mood, different outfit, just play with my stack. So stacking, I think it looks uh, great with uh, whatever you want to stack your bracelets. Um, if you want to just wear it by itself, I think it looks amazing that way too.
Okay, so coming to scratches. Now, this is a question that someone asked me if uh, this bracelet, it uh, scratches the Justin Clue nail head or, you know, if it uh, scratches the love bracelet more. Realistically speaking, I don't have a good answer for that question because like i mentioned i kind of switch up the placement of my bracelet very frequently and also i kind of uh, like to throw in different different pieces in my stack so i would say that yes of course there are scratches in all of my bracelets but uh, i am not in a good position to tell which bracelet scratches which bracelet more now, when I look at this bracelet stack, what I think or what, what I would think is the love bracelet shows more, more scratches as compared to the air crew or compared to the Justin crew just because the surface is so plain and so flat that you can literally see all different types of scratches on it. Now, the Ecru by itself, it is not a plain surface, so even if it has a lot of scratches, it is hard for me to see. And the same thing goes with the Justin Clue, just because of the design of the bracelet. I don't really see a lot of scratches, although the nail head, it is not as shiny as the time I bought it. So yeah, there are scratches on all of my bracelets and uh, I don't really mind those scratches because I think they just add some character and it shows that you wear your pieces, the pieces are being well loved and yeah just have fun with your pieces and also this is, this is gold and gold is a soft metal so there will be scratches no matter how careful you are. So that is just my two cents you know the bracelets we buy all of these pieces to get joy out of them so wear them don't worry about the scratches as much and uh, lastly there are two points that i do want to cover one is do i still love my bracelet after owning it for a year i absolutely love my bracelet i have no regrets the day i went to the store i actually went to take a look at the clash bracelet and uh, ended up uh, coming out with this particular piece so it was love at first sight and that feeling has not changed since i love the fact that it is very different very unique i don't see a lot of people wearing this bracelet so that is also another factor that i love it is a masculine piece but i think it just adds that uh, you know uh feminine and masculine touch to my entire stack which i love and yes i still love it and i wear it most of the days um initial few days initial couple of months i wore it like straight uh three or four months uh, but uh, now I kind of keep playing with my stack so sometimes I wear it on this wrist sometimes I wear it by itself on this wrist so yeah I I wear it every single day it kind of just depends on my mood which arm I wear it and now I quickly want to touch upon the repair of this uh, bracelet so what had happened is the uh, the opening of this uh, bracelet it had become a little bit loose and this was not something that I had noticed so uh, the bracelet was opening on its own and it had happened twice at home and one time it happened when I was outside and that freaked me out so what was happening is even though if I had it by itself or in my stack it was just opening on its own and every single time it opened thankfully I could feel a tug and you know I could feel that the bracelet opened so so I took it off and then I just got lazy and I didn't go take it to do Cartier but after a month I decided to take it to Cartier and once I took it they understood what I said and they sent it for repair and it took about three to four weeks uh, for me to get it back and uh, yeah since I got it it seems to be fine but if I run into any sort of issue again I will be sure to take it back to Cartier and you know 
this is the only thing that kind of put me off this bracelet a little bit because uh, I have other pieces from Cartier and I have not encountered this sort of issue. Uh, so yeah, when you are making this purchase, just make sure that the lock mechanism is tight and uh, it won't just open by itself, if that makes sense. So that is everything that I had to share about this bracelet. Hopefully you found it helpful and uh, definitely I would say that go to the store, try it out in your wrist and see how you um, like it. Do you like it with your stack? Do you want to wear it on, uh, you know, do you want to stack it with your other bracelets or do you just want to wear it by itself? Because this, in my opinion, looks great just by itself and also when stacked with the other pieces. All right, so that is it, guys. I hope it was uh, it was somewhat helpful. So thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.